In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to make some advanced changes to a color board. Please look at the following short example, and then we'll show you some techniques that we applied. I have on my screen several tracks. The first one is the video of the desert. Then I have a title and a music track. We're going to put a color board on track two. To do that, I click on the little blue arrow in the media room that opens up the side panel. I'm going to choose color boards. I'm going to use the gradient color board in this case. So I click on the gradient color subcategory and I can pick any one because I'm going to change what I do anyway. So I'll take the orange one and drag it down to track number two and expand it for a little bit here. So to change the color gradient, I'm going to click on the change color button above the timeline. And that gives me two colors. We're working with a gradient stop right now. I'm going to change the direction and it says zero. I want 180. I find the best way to do that is simply type it in. I'll type in 180 and press enter. That was coming in from the left. I want the starting color to be black. So I'll click on the stop at the right side and then click on the select color and pick black. And let's vary it just a little more than usual. Let's uh, take another gradient stop and create it by clicking just below the bar. And I'll take this one and I'll make it a little darker than normal and click on OK. And I could even change something like the last color stop. Let's click one more over here and I'll make it a little darker yet. And then on the last one, I'm going to click on that color stop and change the opacity down. So it begins to be somewhat transparent. You begin to see the image behind just for a flare. Now I'm going to click on OK, and that will give me my new color bar. Now let's do something else with it. Now that I have it selected, I'm going to double click on it. That will get me into my PIP designer. Now that I'm in my PIP designer, I want to do a couple things with it. I'm going to change the view here so I can see both corners of my display screen. I'll click down and we'll rotate. I actually want to go from corner to corner. And so I need to change my rotation on this one. It says minus 36. I think I want a minus 29. That's the one that will get me pretty much corner to corner. Okay, that's close enough in this case. So now I have that. Let's do something else with it. I'm going to click on the Animation tab in the upper left corner. I will pick an In Animation. Uh, let's pick the same one that we used in our illustration, this square stream. And now we play and it comes in like that. So let's go up to the top again. And we're going to be in our animation. I'll close the In and I'll choose the Out. And on the Out Animation, I'll take one of my brush transitions here and click on this one. And there's another one. So I'm going to click on OK. Let's apply this effect and see what it looks like in this example. Color board comes in, animated. We have our title coming in. And then we'll see it paint out. Hope you found this helpful.